All right, first time uh, for Off-Road Press with a video news report, um, and the first time that Jeff and Dave are sitting at the same table on TV. Uh, <laughs> good to have you, Dave. Welcome to Off-Road Press. Thanks for having me. Uh, you have got the biggest King of the Hammers to date. You've added uh, a bunch of days, a bunch of events, and uh, just wanted to go over what you guys have for the schedule. Sure. So yeah, it's a, it's a, some things changed. We added a, a, a stock modified class, so this mini built Everyman Challenge will be on Sunday the fifth. That'll be uh, that'll be the uh, Pro Comp stock class, which is basically stock vehicles, no cutting of the bodies, 35 inch tires, um, no bypasses, and then uh, the Rubicon Express modified class is, you know, it's basically built to be the retired Ultra Four cars or the crossover rock crawling cars. Um, some some frame has to look like an OEM vehicle. Um, but it can be very heavily modified, 37 inch tires, um, bypasses allowed. So it's just kind of a, it's more of a kind of a, a middle ground class. Mm -hmm. um, those guys will race on Sunday. Uh, it'll be a one lap course, about 70 miles, 75 miles. Uh, it should be a, a, an eye opener for some guys that haven't raced before. It's be interesting. And then Monday we'll have our tra uh, pr traditional pre-run day. So that's a day off for, the, uh, for us and a day for the drivers to get out on the course. Tuesday and Wednesday, a uh, little change up on our LCQ, LCQ format. This will be the four parts time trials this year. So not just the LCQ qualifying, it'll also be all the drivers in the main race that want to qualify for a start position. So in the past, it's always been a, a, um, a uh, draw, random draw for start position. This year, it's going to be time trials. So we'll see who really is the fastest. And everybody complaining about the guy that's in front because that's the bottleneck. Well, they earned the front spot because they qualified mm -hmm. there. Um, and even that time trial is going to have a little, a little bit of a twist and a little bit of a drama. It's a random start for those, for those starting positions inside that time trial. We're actually going to do a show uh, from next Monday, the 9th, from Four Parts in Compton. We're going to announce that starting order. But at the end of each day, we're going to have a happy hour format where we're going to take some of the fan favorites, some of the fast guys, and bunch them together. So you'll see Shannon Campbell, Jason Shear, John Reynolds, Lauren Healy all go back to back to back and find out which king is the fastest right now. Gotcha. Um, so it's kind of a loaded format. Then. A loaded format, and we'll do that for, for media. Shocking. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So, yeah, so that'll be the end of the day. We'll focus our coverage at the end of the day with an hour of that, the, 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 those guys, then a half-hour recap of everybody else's day, uh, and just an overall what happens So it's going to be like a live TV show for that hour every day with the top guys, and then you'll recap everybody else. It'll be an hour and a half live TV show because you have an hour of the coverage, mm -hmm. and then a half hour into the recap show, some, do some interviews with the fast guys from the day. Um, show some video of those guys because we'll be capturing the video and then uh, and then just kind of crunch it all down so we get one a, an action packed hour and a half as opposed Excellent. to a long eight hours right so that's the plan for that and then um, Thursday uh, we have the UTV race again so the Pitbull uh, Pitbull King of the Hammers UTV race um, and uh, you guys have been fantastic partners with that, and I appreciate that. We have a, a, a significantly more amount of UTVs coming out this year. I think we're almost up to 40 UTVs now, which is a great number. Um, it seems to be very exciting. Uh, working with uh, the International Side-by-Side -Side Association mm -hmm. for doing our sanctioning, it's been, uh, it's been a great experience. So that's been a, because that wasn't necessarily nothing I knew much about. So um, working with Mike Lasher and, and uh, getting that done was a, a big deal for me. Um, and then, also on Thursday, we added a new twist just in the last month. Uh, we're going to have motorcycles this year. King of the Motos. Excellent. So um, I know that's something we've talked about for a long time. Yeah, I've always wanted to see the Erzberg style racing out here in the United States. Uh, you know, they did, yep. they've done that with the Red Bull Last Man uh, Standing Challenge. I don't know if that race is still going nope. on. But no, there, there isn't. Uh, that Last Man Standing in Texas isn't, isn't anymore. So we had a perfect window. Um, Jimmy Lewis from Dirt Rider Magazine. Um, contacted me about you know I, I can bring some guys and I can help you make a course and we've actually we set a course it's similar to the UTV course but then we added a lot of some pretty some pretty significant rocks um, and he's confident that we've got the hardest course in the United States excellent well we'll get into some more details on that in another episode here but okay uh, so let's we're, we've got up to Thursday yeah uh, UTV race and we haven't even started the race, race. yet <laughs> we've, yeah we've got contingency uh still on thursday i assume contingency is on thursday um and we also have some demonstrations on the lucas short course because we have the we have new, breaking news for you guys you're the first to hear this lucas oil is now our official oil awesome it's the first time i've said that out loud to people um so lucas is helping us build the short course which will be the, the marquee center of our town so like i'd ask you does that get does that come along with the tv package for lucas no it doesn't 
Ah. Um, uh, we're, we're still working on TV. We've got some, we've got some TV angles to play. Excellent. So I'm, I'm confident we'll be on TV, just not sure what venue yet. But um, it does come with a helicopter. So That's you'll, cool. s- you'll see that red helicopter <laughs> flying over. Um, and then, uh, and, um, yeah, so, so Thursday, big contingency day. Have all the racers in town check out the, checking out the cars. We have 135 vendors in town. Um, so, so for anybody that hasn't been to um, the King of the Hammers before, any other desert race, I know you get tons, you know, 16,000 people last year on the lake bed. Contingency is really the, the best day to come. You can meet the drivers. You go yeah. through the vendors. It's like a circus show. Sure. The, when the, when during race day, the cars are either going by real fast or they're they're upside down in the rocks. You don't get a good chance to look at them. But in contingency, you're you're all over the cars. You can right up against them, talking to the drivers, talking to the vendors. Um, it's a it's a it's a really great opportunity. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and you know that's actually some of your vision there. That was your that was, when we worked together. That was a big deal for you to bring on. So that's definitely a tradition. We'll always carry on. So. And so that leads us up to Friday, the big race. Yeah. And um, what time does that go off on Friday? 8 a.m. on the dot, as always. The race starts on Friday, and then you guys have bled over now into Saturday as well. You've got some stuff planned for Saturday. Why don't you tell us about that? We're working with Mel Wade at Alford Evolutions. He's got the JK experience. Um, so what we're basically doing is giving fans an opportunity to get out on the course. Um, it's, it, it's, a, it's a good thing for us because it's actually a cleanup day as well. So um, Mel's crew leaders and tail gunners are going to make sure the course is in good shape afterwards so we're so when we return the land back to the public it's back in in, in decent shape there's not trash out there and everything's good to go as well as getting the fans out there on the course and give them an opportunity to run with their favorite drivers were just running yesterday so it still remains one of the most unique off-road races in the world where you could go out and you can see the top guys in the world race and then the next day you can go out and get on the race course and you can't do that at daytona no, it's not, not like you can just jump in your station wagon and run daytona on monday it's uh this is the but they they should give you that same opportunity so excellent well we're looking forward to it and uh off-road press will be out there for the full 10 days at uh king of the hammers in our next episode we'll uh dive a little deeper into some of each of the days so thank you very much thanks for having us